North Strand Road, a historic place of Dublin. If you follow the straightway, that's the Royal Canal Greenway. And the bridge over the Royal Canal is called New Canal Bridge. You can see the Royal Canal. Royal Canal Greenway is a long walkway. We will take you to a walk tour later. As late as 1673, what is now North Strand Road was under the waters of the River Leafy Mouth in Dublin Bay. In 1728 and 1756, the road was noted on maps as the Strand and was called by its present name by 1803. And on the right side is the Royal Canal and is a canal originally built for freight and passenger transportation from Dublin to Longford in Ireland. It is one of two canals from Dublin to the River Shannon. In 1755, survey has been made to find a suitable route for its man-made waterway across North Leinster's from Dublin to the Shannon. This massive project commenced in May 1790 and after 27 years, in 1817, the canal finally reached the Shannon. So the total construction cost was £1.4,021,954. Later, I promise I will take you to a walk tour within this Royal Canal Greenway. It's a really beautiful walkway. I'm sure you will enjoy it. The street I'm walking right now is called William Street and it's north side. It's a freestanding gable fronted limestone Roman Catholic Church and it's built between 1878 and 1908. We can't show you the interior, but having been very well maintained, the interior retains its original form, character and function, and the church continues its service to the local community. In front of you, you can see St. Vincent Boys School. It's a primary school and there is another one, it's a girls with St. Vincent Girls School, just beside of it. This is the front of St. Agatha's Catholic Church. Viewers, you will find all of the information in the description box. I will try to share all of the official information. Now we are walking through North Strand Road. And this is the north side of Dublin. It links the city centre from Connolly Station to Fairview by road. It crosses the Royal Canal on the new common bridge what we have already showed you. Now I am going to show you the Merino College of Further Education is situated in Connolly House on the North Strand. Merino College was one of the first colleges in Ireland to offer post living certificate vocational program. Its pre-nursing course dates from the early 1980s. Now I'm going to share with you the most devastated story of the North Strand Road. On the night of 31st May 1941, German Air Force dropped four high explosive bombs on this area, which killed 34 and injured 90 innocent people. 300 houses were damaged or destroyed. This is the next morning after the bombs dropped. It was not clear if this was a reprisal for the aid of Dublin Fire Brigade during bombing raids on Belfast or if it had been a tactic to end Irish neutrality. On 19th June, the Irish government announced that the government of Nazi Germany 
had apologized and offered compensation. Dear respected viewers, we have already reached the last part of this video. Hope this information helped you to know a story and thanks for watching this video. Do you know about the Five Lambs? The Five Lambs is a historical landmark that is situated at a junction between five streets in Dublin's north inner city which is now described as a decorative lamppost with five lanterns. It was constructed in the late 19th century to commemorate General Henry Hall's service to the British Army in India. It originally had water fountains with four basins at its base. The water spewed out from water spouts that were the shape of lion's heads. Cups were hung from over the basins so that the locals could grab a drink. It is debated where the name of Five Lamps came from, as it is at the junction of Five Streets, North Strand Road, Savili Place, Amin Street, Killarney Street, and Portrain Row. So, there was one light for every one of the five streets and in a way that makes a lot of sense. So, this is the most living plane of the five lamps.